Welcome back everyone to a very special TCBM. So for those of you that uh, can regularly watch my TCBM videos, you probably remember Pokegal. Now not only have we traded oh, four or five times and some pretty big trades, um, she's uh, someone that is uh, collecting a lot of the older cards, and so uh, like this particular trade I think had, oh, I mean it was well over a hundred cards. Um, you know, bulk, common, uncommon, reverses, uh, the rares, hollows, all sorts of stuff. And in return, um, she gives me some pretty fantastic things that I'm looking for for my collection. But today is extra, extra special because in addition to getting just a trade, she also sent something for Bernie. So we're going to start off first with uh, the trade cards. So we have a handful of deck cards. I believe there's three Parallel City, one Mewtwo Spirit Link, and one Burning Energy. Now, we traded for two cards that I completely forgot that I had already arranged to trade for when um, I made the arrangement with her. Although, uh, considering that she is a very, very trusted trader, and my other two sources I haven't traded with nearly as much, um, it was probably still a good idea to make the backup trades. Um, but now that I actually, the, so the other people's trades have arrived since I made the trade with her, so these two cards um, are going to be up uh, backup available for sale or trade. These Mega Mewtwo EX number, I believe, 63, and this full art Giratina EX. So uh, the other copy arrived, I think, Saturday, and hers arrived Monday. Um, however, the trades were done, like, I, I believe the, the Giratina was a Canadian trade, so the, the trades were made actually several weeks apart. But it's always good to have extra cards um, for trade fodder in the, in the binder, and there are still several full arts that I'm looking for from Breakthrough, so I am very confident that I will be able uh, to find a new home for the Giratina and still help out my collection, and wow, that's a terrible glare, so let's set that over there. So now we're going to go through the cards that I will be keeping for my collection. And they're just absolutely beautiful. So first up, we have this Neuvern break. And uh, when the break cards first came out, I was really excited about them. It was a new mechanic. It was something different, just even looked awesome. And as time has gone on, I'm not as... Uh, a, a, my fandom, I guess, for them is decreasing. Uh, there's something about the gold that it's... I find that I have a hard time actually focusing on the card and seeing the Pokemon itself on the first glance. It takes me like the second or third second of actually staring at the card before I can see the picture. Um, that may just be that my eyes are a little weird. Uh, there's like some of those mind, uh, those eye illusion tricks. Um, some of them I just, I, I can't see. My eyes are just a, a little different. So maybe this is just a personal preference, but I'm really getting to... I mean, I still get excited when I see a gold uh, break card just because it's a gold, it's ultra rare, it's, it's fun, it's exciting. But I'm really not into the art um, style nearly as much as when they first came out. Other cards that uh, will be going into my collection, this regular Mewtwo EX, number 62. And this is, oh... Uh, I, I know a few Houndoom collectors that would love this, but unfortunately for them, this is my very first Houndoom EX full art. So the collection comes first, and it's going to have to go to its special home there. And I'm just going, I'm going to point out how beautiful a card this is. Um, I, I just love that he's, his mouth is tapping, but he's kind of grinning at you at the same time. Like, I, I just don't know. There, this is just such a fantastic looking card, and I can't wait to put it in my collection. Now, these last two, um, I really think should be shown side by side. I don't know if I've, uh, other than Pokegal, I don't know if I have ever made other trades for multiple secret rares, especially from the same set, so soon after the release. And certainly not um, more than once. Um, I, I, I'm I'm kind of speechless just in, in just looking at these two beauties. Um, I saw them being both of them them being pulled to the pre-release, but I never I've never actually held either one of them. And I don't I don't know they're just so gorgeous. Um, the amount of detail, like I love the um, the Mewtwo EX full art that was uh, I believe it was the blue version I think. 
Um, I thought that was just one of the most beautiful cards that I've ever seen. These are, are beautiful in just a different way. The gold is fantastic, but I love that other Pokemon, and not really other popular Pokemon. Um, I mean, I know there's Chestnut fans, there's Magnezone fans, Meloetta, Zork, um, Haxorus, but there's not, I mean, it's not a Pikachu, it's not a Meowth. They're not like huge Pokemon that, you know, everyone loves. I like that they picked out some, like, Meloetta. I know a lot of people that hate Meloetta. So I, I think it's really cool that they just kind of put on random Pokemon um, with this legendary Pokemon. Um, I don't know, it just, it just really does something for the card. So if that wasn't enough excitement for you, I mean, that that was a fantastic trade to get in. And I wasn't, she only sent it on Friday, so I was not expecting it to get here this fast. But she said that she was also sending a little surprise for Bernie. And by little surprise, I was not expecting this. 11 packs of X and Y breakthrough. Now, I was I was trying to, <laughs> so my, my fiance actually opened this package before I ever got to it. And uh, it, it took a lot of convincing um, for him just not to rip open into these packs. But um, my first thought when I saw these was, uh, well, actually my first thought was, I need to do something special with them. My second thought was pack battles. Ever since I did the MLP uh, Major League Pack Battle um, tournament, I have had several requests from other Poketubers to do more. Um, and not not necessarily another tournament, but individual ones, um, just just kind of on the side. Now uh, I w I do hope to be participating in the next MLPB uh, tournament, but that's not coming up for uh, a little while yet. So we still have some time um, before that gets going. Um, Point of me saying all this is I was I've already been invited by one Poketuber to do a pack battle. I agreed uh, with some uh, with one of the the new blisters, the breakthrough blisters that I was going to be opening up, and um, it completely slipped my mind. And when my product arrived, I dove right into it, began opening up everything, and completely forgot about the pack battle. And I have felt so guilty ever since. And um, I think this is going to be a way to make up for it. So I have already contacted that person to um, to, to offer up uh, if they're interested in any other um, pack battles. So they will get first pick. But however, there are 11 packs, I believe. Uh, three, six, yeah, nine, 10, 11. So I, f I figure a pack battle with that person is probably going to be anywhere from one to three packs, which still leaves, um, I mean, at, you know, very most... Uh, you know, eight more packs to be opened up. So, um, I haven't really worked out any kind of screening. I figure uh, if people can just offer. Obviously, um, it, it'd be better if, if you, you're familiar with how pack battles work. I'd be more than happy to explain them to you. Um, but it would be a lot easier as far as, you know, getting them up and going as you know, video-wise if you already have a little experience with them. Um, I figure use the same point system as um, MLP majorly pack battle. I can never get the abbreviation right. I always stumble over them. Um, but I figured using the same point system that they use, if we want a competitive pick, we can talk about that, um, add those in. Uh, so my request for now is uh, for anyone that is interested in a pack battle from at least these last remaining eight, possibly more, just send me a message. Um, uh, PMs, emails are preferred. Emails are, are preferred by far just because I can get to them faster they're easier to respond to and just let me know um, your YouTube name so that we can um, you know I make sure that with emails they don't always send your YouTube name so um, just so, so, so that I know who you are so I know what to title my end of the pack battle um, so your YouTube name and how many packs you want to open um, I don't think it matters as far as you know if you want to get a three pack blister or one pack blister um, I kind of like to split this up into you know maybe two or three pack battles so um maybe not like an elite trainer box where we just open all eight and once um but i like to get a few pokatubers out there um probably just going to be a first come first serve type of thing and we'll kind of go from there so um i hope and I, i'll be doing this probably after bernie's marathon so bernie's marathon ends on uh the 20th day will be on december 11th that's a friday uh i don't have any plans video wise for that weekend of the 12th and 
13th. So I was thinking maybe we could start up some pack battles then. So just let me know what you guys are interested in. Um, thanks again to Pokegal. Uh, th this did arrive um, right after we came home from visiting Bernie at the animal hospital, but he was still way too groggy for us to, to take him home. Um, so it, and uh, I mean, he's fine. So far, he's doing great. I'm the one that's a nervous wreck and, you know, being paranoid over, you know, is his suture still in place? Are there any licking? Uh, is he pulling any out? Or is everyone else giving him a hard time? Is he any pain? All that stuff. And these packs came right before we went to pick him up and were really a great distraction for the last couple of hours where we didn't have him. So it, this meant so much Pokegal, not only the trade, but, but the packs. Um, and I did want to uh, bring up in this, I, I hope you've gotten your cards by now. Um, this video is planning on going up on Friday, even though I'm making it a few days earlier. Um, but I wanted to kind of, for those of you that are still listening to this video, um, ask a general question. I printed off a bunch of postage labels, put them in my mailbox, had them picked up Monday, and instead of scanning them as being picked up from Burlington, North Carolina, they marked them as being delivered to Burlington, North Carolina. It wasn't, now Pogagals was one of the ones that was affected, so unfortunately she can't track um, her shipping. Now it was two-day priority, so we should, shouldn't still have any problems. Um, but I wondered if anyone else had had this problem, and if you did, what you did to resolve it. Um, I didn't really find anything about, you know, a number I can call, anything like that. There were a couple eBay transactions, so that does not look good to the eBay people um, when uh, their their buyers can't access a correct tracking information. So if anyone has any advice, I am all ears, and um, hopefully Pokecals has already gotten to her. Um, I, I've, I've told her that if, uh, if it didn't arrive, I do have duplicates of some of the cards that she was interested in, and would certainly do my best to make up for the rest. Um, but I really, really hope that they have not screwed this, um, all, every package that I put out this mo uh, well, yesterday morning. Um, I hope they haven't ruined it. So, thanks everyone for watching, especially those of you that stayed through to the very end of this 12-minute video. So sorry for the rambling, but there were so many cards to show off, so many packs, so many cool and just, just stuff. Um, it was well worth, I think, the ramble. So thanks again, Pokegal, and hope everyone will stay tuned. I have another surprise coming up tomorrow, in addition to Bernie's Marathon video.